What's up guys, Rosalia here, back with another video, and have you ever heard of Bubble Boca or the Tria Pan lenses? Tria Plan? Tria Pan? Tria Plan? Tria Plan? I don't really know what they're called. They're these lenses that were made by Mayer Optic, I think? I don't know, I'll put a picture up on the screen. But there were these lenses that created this sort of Bubble Boca. And the normal 50 I use is this, the Series E uh, 51.8. And I love this thing, it's really cool. But I was wondering, hmm, what if I tried my other 50, a Vivitar 50 1.8, and it's an M42 mount, so I had to get a M42 to Nikon adapter, and so you have to get one of these adapters that have a, a glass element in it, and so you just twist it on like this, and then you can fit it onto the lens. So I did three tests. The first test I did is I had the camera on a tripod, I had a background setup, and it's a subject, the camera stays the same, all the settings stay the exact same between both pictures, and I had my Nikon lens, and then I did the Vivitar lens. And I noticed that A, the image is very dynamic in the sense that I have a, a light, and then I have a dark background with little bokeh balls, and if you look at this bokeh ball, you can see on the Nikon, it's sort of smooth, but it's got a little onion skinning, I think is what it's called. And then I switch to the Vivitar, and you can see it's like a big ring. It looks like a bubble. And I was pretty impressed. So, I thought, let's try a different test. So I did a close focusing test, and I had the Nikon at its closest focus distance, and this is what it looks like don't look pretty bad it, it's for a, a 50 mil up to today's standards it's got a really far close focus distance and then I did the Vivitar and the Vivitar is actually zoomed in a little bit more it's longer it's a longer 50 than my Nikon but the close focus is also closer so it's about maybe a foot and a half because here's uh, a foot and three quarters and then here's two feet, so it's probably about a foot and a half. And if we go to my Nikon, the closest distance is a little under two feet. And the sharpness, I think the Nikon is a little bit sharper, but I wanted to do one more test. As you can see, the bokeh on the two still look kind of similar. So I brought the camera back. I had some Kodachrome Super 8 film, and so I put it on top of a tripod, and I moved the camera back, I set the film on the tripod, and I took a picture with both lenses. Here's a Nikon, here's the Vivitar. Um, they look pretty similar except for the bokeh and the distortion. As you can see, the Vivitar has this distinct bubble-like bokeh, and then the Nikon in the corners it kind of like fades out, if that makes sense. I think that this Vivitar lens is honestly really cool. They're both the f1.8, but I noticed that the Vivitar is slightly darker. Um, I guess it's just due to like light that's being lost in the optics. A couple other things I noticed that the front the front element on the Vivitar is slightly smaller than the Nikon. Um, same thing with the rear element. If I take this adapter off, the rear element looks just ever so slightly smaller on the Vivitar. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Celia, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.